Can we talk? I want to hear from you. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear your thoughts. Everything you got to see. Just understand that it's possible to make a change and come together. Know that you are the leaders of today. And it is here and now that we need to listen to your ideas, to hear your perspectives, and to welcome you to the decision-making table. Parce que votre vision est cruciale. Elle est unique, elle est riche. Votre façon de penser à l'échelle planétaire et d'agir localement aussi autour de vous est essentielle. Et votre capacité aussi d'oser, votre capacité de briser des barrières sont un gage d'avenir pour notre pays et pour le futur du monde. I don't have any control over my surroundings at all, really. But I would really like it if, um, you know, the people of Canada actually got the opportunity to, you know, talk about what sort of Canada they would like and uh, then go about making that Canada in their own cities. One issue I want to talk about was how um, Ottawa is really diverse, but we don't have any services uh, specifically for GLBTQ uh, new immigrants or ethnic youth, and I'd like to see more uh, queer newcomer specific services. Regarde mon petit frère, j'ai fait des études universitaires, je lui dis vas-y, vas-y, tu es capable, fais les études universitaires, mais il n'y a rien qui garantit. Il faudrait vraiment faire quelque chose euh, dans ce domaine-là et je pense vraiment que ça va pouvoir renforcer le sentiment d'appartenance, pas seulement de la communauté noire mais de tous les immigrants. What would make first of all the capital region relevant to youth? How do they see themselves? How can we make things differently? How can we change things? But you know what? One of the challenges we have the non-youth people, we don't always know how to reach out to youth. Honestly, it's, like, it's hiring. It's hiring. It's, you have to hire youth, like hire them in your organization, pay them, give, you know, value their ideas with your money. I would love to see the NCC, as opposed to being the silent partner in all of these projects, be the voice of opportunity and reason. And I would challenge you guys to be bold to be daring, to be creative. While I was in Vancouver, um, I saw uh, a, a city that encourages cycling and that makes people feel like cyclists are an important part of the city's infrastructure. I don't see Aboriginal people in the arts in this city. What do I do about it? Well, I'm going to join a, 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 an advisory committee, and now I get to have a voice at the city, city council level. So one of my dreams is to be able to walk down Ottawa and see some contemporary Aboriginal art. J'aimerais ça que d'ici les 20 prochaines années, que dans cette salle-ci, qu'on puisse communiquer sans avoir d'interprètes et de traducteurs. Je crois qu'il est important pour souligner notre identité canadienne que tous les Canadiens puissent parler le français et l'anglais sans qu'il y ait cette barrière. So next time a youth asks you, how do you know I can? Tell them, because Canada says you can. Uh, duh. <laughs> L'audace, l'audace est vraiment le véritable et l'éblouissant esprit de la jeunesse de notre pays. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle je suis ravie de me joindre à vous au pied même du Parlement pour célébrer l'inauguration de l'année internationale de la jeunesse. I am delighted to join hundreds of people around the world in declaring the International Year of Youth officially launched. <laughs>